30 years ago today, officers started investigating the Colonial Parkway murders. Four couples, eight victims, and no answers. The cold cases continue to stump the FBI and state police. Andy Fox reports on that day 30 years ago when the Colonial Parkway murders started to unfold. 30 years ago today, Rebecca Andowski and Kathleen Thomas were found in a car here on the Colonial Parkway, murdered, their throats slit. 30 years later, their families still have no justice. It won't ever stop. This is very important to me and to my family. 30 years later, Kathleen Thomas's brother Bill still fighting, longing for the truth. Typically what the FBI will do is the investigative uh, agent will, will text me and say, can you please call me? And I'll know they have some news. And we're talking a lot these days, and I'm thrilled about that. 30 years ago, Irv Wells, now retired, had just arrived as the special agent in charge of the FBI's Norfolk Field Division, remembers the brutality of the Thomas Dowski attacks. Both young women's throat were deeply cut, their heads almost severed, and um, diesel fuel, as has been reported, was poured over the bodies and att attempts were made to ignite it. A cold case, along with three other cases, now known as the Colonial Parkway murders, that all began 30 years ago today. Beginning tonight at 4, we ask the FBI if they are any closer to finding out who killed Kathleen Thomas and Rebecca Andowski. On the Colonial Parkway, I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side. Don't miss the Colonial Parkway murders 30 years ago, tonight at 6, with coverage beginning at 4.